is MJ. I've been flying him for a long time, but I've bred off him lots too. I have two stock cockbirds off this guy. Uh, one's name is Charlie, and one is uh, Rusty. Charlie's a little bit better. And then I've got this. This guy is uh, the grandfather of Mr. Satisfaction and uh, RJ. Well, this is Mr. Satisfaction. He's the son of uh, Charlie and his grandfather is MJ. And I'm just amazed that this bird's still alive because he was chased by a falcon this year. I thought I lost him for sure. He came back in about an hour. Had no feathers on the back of his head all the way down the back of his neck even onto his back. So I really never thought he'd even want to get up in the air and roll again, but he's doing fantastic. In fact, he's doing better than he did before. So hopefully he stays that way. He's a good looking bird. This is RJ. This is an experiment this year. <clears throat> it comes off a nice cockbird I own called Rusty. And uh, I lent him to a friend of mine. I, I should say I lent Rusty to a friend of mine. He wanted to use him as a feeder. And so he bred a hen, or bred, it was one of his, his hens, and gave me this youngster, which is a cross, because he didn't want to keep any of the crosses, so he used them for feeders, but then raised me a cross. And believe it or not, this ended up being my best bird so far for uh, 2010. Or actually, 2011, sorry. He's got a 2010 band, but he's actually a 2011 bird. And so far he is the best consistent spinner this year, which totally amazes me. Just a beautiful looking bird. And this is a 2011 cockbird. His dad is Candyman, and his mom is Princess Pied. Two of my favorites. And they were half brother and half sister. So this guy's a little slow starting as far as the roll. He's a great kidder, uh, great looking bird. But he is taking his time coming into the roll. I hope next, or over the winter and next season, he'll start to turn it on. I've seen a few good quick ones out of him. Not much depth yet, but the speed's coming. Well, this is also another young cockbird off Candyman and Princess Pied. And again, he's a little slow maturing. Like both his mom and his dad were good, solid little rollers at six months old. Now these guys are a little over six months old and they're spinning uh, with a little bit of speed but still not what I hope for and definitely not as good as their parents but we'll see probably give them a, at least one more season see what they do now this is a sun off Jack Flash and Jack Flash is definitely one of my favorite rollers just a really quick spinner and he came off of Mr. USA, so this would be Mr. USA's grandson. I'm going to give him one more season to see if he picks her up. He's such a good looking bird, but he's a little bit bigger than I normally would keep. But because he comes off with two good birds, I want to give him one more chance. Okay, I'm going to have to check my pedigrees to see who this guy's off of. And I'm hoping it's a cock bird, I'm really not sure yet. Still pretty young, but it's rolling pretty decent for as old as it is. It's a nice compact pigeon. I just hope it is a cock bird. This is one good looking bird. And he's a cross off of one of my black cockbirds to a friend of mine's hens and his little brother ended up rolling down at about I guess eight months old still alive because he, he's a deep roller but he wasn't a super fast one this guy's a little bit faster and not as deep but still not consistent enough but again he's still under nine months old so we'll give him next season and the rest of this winter see how he does 
Now this is a young cockbird that was gifted to me from John Tuchel. He brought in a new line of rollers from Ontario and uh, they're pure and they haven't been bred into for I think something like 30 years. Now this little guy is really spinning quick, about 20 feet, just not quite as often as I'd like, but I think he's got a lot of potential. So we'll see how he does this winter and this next spring.